Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. You know, you take a look at this whole situation with Brooke and Taylor and their so-called pack. And a lot of people knew that the minute that they made this pack, it was only a matter of time before, you know, before things start to unravel and they go back to, you know, go back to fighting over Ridge. Because let's be honest, it's not like they were actually going to really sit there and change up the couples for a little bit or, um, well, pretty much try anything new. But I got to sit there and say that um, I'm impressed how long they actually kept it going. And this is somebody who's only been watching the show for three years. Um, so I can only imagine from day one when people were watching the show be like, yeah, this is not going to last. And they just go back and forth with each other. And Brooke is like, you know, you did all this, you manipulated me, and you kept pushing Hollis on me, you kept pushing Deacon on me, which is very true. Okay, that's very true. And of course, Taylor was like, oh, well, you know, Hollis is fun, and, you know, you and, and Deacon, you share a child, and I'm just like, bro, let's, let's be honest, you did this, so this way you can get too rich. Maybe at one point. She was mad and angry and everything like that. But after a while, you start to sit there and see some crack in her, in her armor and stuff. So it wasn't like, you know, after a while, this this wasn't so much about being mad. This is just like, oh, I want to be friends with her. I'm try to, you know, put me first and all this other stuff like that. But, you know, unless they were actually sitting there bringing on somebody else, or maybe, I don't know, putting Taylor with Deacon, this was never going to work. And so after a while, Taylor's like, yes, I want to be with him, and I think you're bad news for him. They go back and forth, and, you know, eventually it gets physical. And Bridge comes in there, and Bridge breaks up the whole thing, and he's like, yo, what is going on? And that's when, um, you know, because here's the thing. Brooke was trying to leave, and for some odd reason, Taylor decided to put her hands on her. And I'm like, Bro, listen, I know a lot of people do not like Brooke, but the minute that you put your hands on somebody, you start pulling them like they're your child, um, anything goes at that point. So when he comes into the room, she's all like, oh, she's over-exaggerating, and I'm just like, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, we're we not going to sit there. You're not going to sit there and try to play like you're being a rational one in this situation, okay? Because you're not. You're both. Or acting like a pair of jackasses. Um, meanwhile, you got Deacon and um, Hollis. I'm not going to lie. It took me a hot minute to think of his name. They're talking about the situation. Even Hollis is like, you know, it is kind of weird that Taylor was pushing me on her. You know, on, on Brooke and everything. And, you know, he's like, do you honest, he was like, do you honestly... Um, like he just he was just felt it was just weird. So what is that they're talking about the whole um Brooke and Taylor situation? You got Eric that's once again, which I, I don't understand this. Okay? I don't understand this. Now, and granted, when you go back to the whole argument and Taylor's like, I can't believe that you wind up sleeping with your husband's I mean with your with your with your daughter's fiance or boyfriend or something like that. And she was like, who does something like that? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like, they only got a point. Um, which, I, which I don't understand how Ridge in his mind, because Brooke has also been with Eric. Now, <laughs> a lot of other men is one thing. You can sit there and, and get past that. But once you're, you watch your girl that have been with you, your dad, that's just, at a point for me, that's just hands off. That's just, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, no, just, just no. So how did he get that out of his mind? Like, how does that even work? I don't understand that about Reg. And of course, Eric's like, oh, that's your destiny. That's your destiny. And I'm like, bro, you do realize that you, you're, you're pushing Brooke on him after you're with her many, many years ago. Then y'all find it just weird, right? Okay, right, it's just it's just um, and of course, Red just gonna talk about, oh yeah, you know, Taylor, you know, confessed to me her her feelings and everything like that, and I'm like, 
I feel like you are still the same jackass that you were before. Because, you know, you're, you're flirting. I mean, granted, Brooke came down that nightgown and, uh, I mean, as I always sit there and say, the, the, the woman got cursed. But, you know, you're getting all close, like you want to sit there and get with her, right? Now you're sitting there smiling at the fact that Taylor is sitting there confessing his feelings, her feelings. I'm like, okay, but who do you want to be with them? Because, you know, the reason why this whole thing was so much of a mess with so many people is because you couldn't sit there and decide on which woman you want to be with. Now you're standing there with the same stupid grin on your face and being like, Taylor, she confessed to me. Her, you know, her feelings and just like, so what are you doing? <laughs> like, come on, bro. I just, uh, I don't understand that. It's so, uh, but for some odd reason, it's been going on for 30 something years and, um, the show still has a fan base that is, um, Times very questionable. I know that back then they used to do some crazy stuff. Hell, I was watching some old clips of YNR. You got Nick throwing people out of planes. I'm like, yo, this is dope. It's a far cry from what we have today, but um, I can imagine back then, you know, show was um, was was dope back then, but. I was to tell you, the, the whole thing with Deacon and Hollis, it, it could have just not been added, and you would have, like, <laughs> there was no loss again to their scenes. Um, and I actually do like Deacon, but I was just like, mm, are you really necessary in this episode? No. <laughs> no, 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 you weren't, but you were here, so, what else? Um, you know what they say, Cobra Kai never dies. I feel like that's about it. I really think of anything else, but as always, if they miss anything, you know what to do. Come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, we'll sit there and go for all of them. Days of Lives, Blowing the Beautiful, Young and the Restless, um, General Hospital. And I'm always sitting there thinking that I miss one. I'm like, well, there's only four left, so how am I missing one? Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.